guys, it's Maggie again, and today I'm going to be talking about my favorite ways to relieve stress. Um, unfortunately, when you have a chronic illness, you tend to be a little bit more stressed out. Uh, I think that people, healthy people, everywhere are stressed out, and uh, we just got that one little extra thing to to help with our stress levels. So I'm going to talk about my favorite ways that I relieve stress, and uh, I hope you enjoy. And if you guys think that I'm a very calm and level-headed person, um, if Zach were sitting here as I said that, he'd probably burst out laughing. I am um, very high-strung, and I tend to flip out about small things, and large things I tend to be totally cool and calm about. So, you know, I don't make sense at all, but that's totally fine. Um, but I am such a high-stress person, <laughs> and... Uh, that's why I have lots of little hobbies and things that I do to, um, you know, keep my head on my shoulders. And one of the first things that I like to do, and this is probably one of the major things that helps me, is to have a clean space or like a clean room, whatever that might be. If it's your living room, your kitchen or whatever, wherever you want to be in, have that room be clean. It's kind of a funny joke because I'm the messiest person you probably would ever meet and you wouldn't know it um, until you came to my home unexpectedly. <laughs> but I am so messy and I'm sure like Zach hates me for it. But I am like very peaceful right now because we just redid our, our master bedroom here and it's actually fairly clean. Um, I feel very good, very calm. This helps so much, just having that space where I like to relax, be clutter free. It clears your mind. I am also really big into candles. I am not like a super, you know, crystals and candles and energies and all that stuff. I, I like don't know anything about it, so I can't say much about it. But I love candles. I love the scents. <laughs> um, I love searching for new candles and buying them. Uh, so as you can see, I have a candle burning in the background, and it's one of my favorite ones, but they're kind of expensive, so we only get them once in a while, um, but it's a wood wick, and they just, if you can hear it, it's making like a little burning sound. I also really like salt lamps, um, like the Himalayan salt lamps. Yes, I licked mine to make sure that it was real, but um, I, again, don't know anything about like the negative ions and all that. I have no idea. I just know that it gives a really nice um, pink glow to the room, and I don't like sleeping with the room completely pitch black because I tend to wake up earlier than Zach and, you know, I can't see anything, so that helps too. Um, but it's just such a peaceful glow. I love it. I also really enjoy herbal teas. Um, I mean, I enjoy caffeinated teas as much as the rest of us. I'm a caffeine junkie. Love my coffee, love my tea. But herbal teas are really awesome, and I like the ones with lavender in it. It just, you know, I find it chills me out and gets me ready to sleep. It's pretty, pretty sweet. Um, but there's just something about a nice warm cup of tea at the end of a day to relax to. I mean, I say at the end of the day, I would drink it, you know, 5 a.m., 3 p.m., 12 a.m. I would drink tea any old day. Um, and it just, it really soothes me out. One thing that I really like to do, um, but to be honest with you, I can't remember the last time I finished one, is to read. Um, that was one of the major stress relievers when I had ostomy surgery. And a little funny backstory, I love Jodi Picoult books. I mean, they were huge a few years ago. I love them. They're like very health and ethical related. I just enjoy them so much. And when I got my ostomy, my dad said, would you like me to get you any books? And I said, yeah, can you get me a Jodi Picoult book? So I'd give him a title um, that I didn't have yet and he went to the bookstore near our house. Well, I would finish a book in about, I don't know, I'd finish them really quickly by the time he would come back to visit the next day. And he would go to this bookstore every day and finally the woman working there recognized him. She was like, why do you keep coming in and buying Jodi Picoult books? And uh, my dad told her, I have a daughter in the hospital and I'm, you know, she's going through them like crazy so I, I just keep buying them. And uh, she wound up giving him a discount. <laughs> so, but I, I loved reading them. I mean, 
I ha I must have them at my dad's. I just had like a stack. I had every single one that was out at the time. Um, and I read them. That's all I did in the hospital. I read. I just read my brains out. Another thing that's really nice is to do very simple stretches. And I'm not saying get down on that floor and do a 30 minute cardio workout. Um, but just simple things like reaching your arms up and reaching them back and stuff like that. If you hold them for like 10 seconds, you can just feel yourself melting. It's really nice. I used to do them um, when I was an activity assistant in a living, like a assisted living place. And I really enjoyed stretching with all of the residents. It really helped me. I think it helped me more than it helped them. They, they really just complained about my workouts, but you know, it's fine. The last thing that I really enjoy and this you may take as something more stressful. Um, I don't, and I like to make it simple. Um, I really enjoy gardening, and I go pretty hardcore. I do like eight different types of tomatoes. I do the green zebra and the, um, what else have I done? I've done yellow pear, I've done the like orange and red and yellow stripey ones. I've done them all. Mr. Stripey, that's what it is. I've done all of them. Um, and I go pretty hardcore and that can be stressful, but I like to also garden to de-stress. So I really like forcing bulbs. Um, and if you don't know what that means, it's forcing a type of flower bulb when it's not naturally going to bloom. Um, and I like doing it indoors. It's usually where you would do it. So I like amaryllis bulbs. They're, I mean, you'll see them at Christmas. That's like they are being forced because they're actually a, if you were to plant them in the ground outside, they would bloom in the summer. Um, and I really like forcing hyacinth bulbs. These are my new ones. So I bought a bag of hyacinth bulbs on sale in like November, December time. Um, they were from last season. So I just stuck them in a little bit of water, um, put them under one of my grow lights, and this is the result. Look at how pretty. So I enjoy this so much. I'm currently trying to force a lily bulb. Lilies are my absolute favorite flower. Um, I will show you guys my lily garden this year. I have all of my lilies settled into one spot and I'm just hoping as the years go on, it's just gonna be like a forest of lilies. Um, but I really enjoy this. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed my, my little things that I do to keep myself sane. <laughs> I live a pretty stressful life on top of not being the healthiest person around. So um, I hope you enjoyed all these little ways and, and maybe try out one or two of them. Especially this one, I love them. <laughs> all right guys, uh, put your comments below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.